What is up guys, Levi Peterson here, back at it with another video. Really excited for this one. Last week I was not able to have a video because we were just super busy and constantly doing things. So I really didn't even get around to making a video. So today's video we're going to be uh, extra down in the display tank in the dining room. Um, we got a new fish in here. This tank is filling out really nice. The only thing I'd like to add is kind of add a little more diversity with some inverts and then pack it with some coral. Um, but yesterday... We got a banner fish, or a schooling banner fish, or a banded butterfly. There's a bunch of different names for Hinococcus butterfly. There's literally hundreds of different names for this fish. Like, it's not even funny. I don't even know the scientific name for this one. I think it's like Heniocus. It starts with an A, the last part. Um, reef safe with caution. Reason being is there is a possibility of them eating corals if you don't keep them well fed Which this guy's already eating like a pig. He was he did come in a little bit skinny, uh, but he is fattening right up um, He wasn't friend. He still isn't very uh, good friends with the hippo tang yet um, Surprisingly the yellow didn't kind of take him out. I was kind of shocked uh, But instead it's him and the hippo tang so Flip the camera around show you what's going on in this tank and talk a little bit more about caring for the schooling banner fish. So here he is, it's pretty small. He's probably about an inch and a half long and maybe an inch and a half tall. But just, like to back up, it's just a different fish in this tank. Like it just adds a little bit different color and movement. Um, the reason why I call it a banner fish is because of its tall dorsal fin. When it swims and gets longer, it moves like a banner. So very cool fish. Um, like I said, definitely adds just a color contrast to this tank that's not there right now. Oh, well now it is obviously. Um, the one thing with these is they are known to possibly pick at um, anemones, which we got clowns in our anemones, so I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, but I have already seen them going crazy on the Aptasia. I've seen them at least take out five um, heads of Aptasia so far, which isn't too many because there's probably at least 50 in this tank. I've um, been trying to use Aptasia X, not, not working too well, but it does its job slowly. So but he's very active and constantly looking for food. Uh, so I've actually been feeding this tank almost three times per day. I mean, there is a lot of fish in this tank. This tank is fully stocked with fish. I'll back up. Like, you can just see the movement. It's just gorgeous. Take this in here. Lots of color. Lots of gorgeous fish. But like I said, I would like to just kind of fill it out with a little more coral. Add a little bit more color with the corals. And add, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit more diversity of inverts. There's a tuxedo urchin, Montipora. I had an A can up here. The A can fell over and stung the Gorgonian and it killed half of that. So it's actually starting to look better now. It's starting to grow back. And then the A can glued itself again fall and fell on a Monty Pora. You can already see the blue soft spot. And the A can just fell again and I got to pick it up and replace it. Cedo Chromos, that guy's gorgeous. And then we got a cucumber today. I'm really excited to see how that does. Massive turbo snail. It is the biggest turbo snail I've ever seen in my life. Um, <clears throat> there's a spawning pair in here. The other turbo is somewhere in this tank. I don't know. But there's like hundreds and hundreds of small turbo snails starting to come out uh, all over the place. So really excited for that. This tank is doing extremely well. But So care, care levels for this. I would definitely deem it as an easy butterfly to keep. Um, it's even labeled easy to keep on live aquaria, so that means it's definitely kind of easier. Um, it's definitely one of the easier butterflies I've ever kept so far. I ate the first day I put it in the tank, which is a shocker. Usually butterflies take almost a week to hit, to even eat anything, so that's really cool. Um, and it's like a different color, and I would definitely say reef safe with caution. But if you keep him well fed, he should actually help with your aptasia as well as um, worms. So they will eat like bristle worms and everything. Uh, but like I said, if you keep him well fed, you should not have a problem with corals whatsoever. So really excited for this guy and see how he does in his tank. It's been, it's day two. Oh, there's the other turbo sand, by the way. There's two monster turbos. Um, day two, he's, already, he, he's just constantly swimming, so that's always a plus. And he, like I said, he just adds that color that's not in the tank. I mean, you've got clowns, skunk clowns, um, blue hippo. Like I said, this tank is at max bio load for fish, like I said. Add more coral, absorb more nutrients. That's where, how I feel about this tank. So, other than that, that's really all I want to say. Just give you a quick little facts on something new. I don't show you guys this tank very often on our channel, but it's starting to look really cool. So, I just want to give you guys a quick look. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. We will be back next week with a different video. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, uh, but definitely something cool. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.